what's up friends welcome to my channel it's elena aka lady smash and you are watching gardening with lady smash y'all i want to thank y'all so much for being here this is my first video on this channel um if you have been following me at all on my previous my other channel um lady smash 711 you know that i had started a garden last year in 2021 and it was very very successful and so i said that i would be coming back um after the last video when i shut down the garden um i said that i would be coming back in the spring of 2022 so while it's not quite spring just yet it is february and the beginning of february at that I figured I'd go ahead and start the channel because I do want to start planting in February. I'm not going to wait till the spring this time. So I need to start planting some stuff like indoors um, so stuff can be ready to be planted outdoors. But then there are also some things that I need to plant outdoors that will do well in this cold weather. So if you're new here if you're new to the channel welcome like if you're just new to gardening with lady smash or just gardening with me period welcome to the channel i do hope you enjoy it over here we are going to be starting from scratch y'all now like i said i did start last year but this year since i'm just a little bit seasoned like i'm not an expert or anything but i'm a little seasoned now um we have decided to move the garden from one side of the yard to the other so um, I'm going to be showing you like how I start my how I do my garden from scratch y'all I'm talking about laying down the um, gosh I always forget what it's called <sighs> landscaping paper <laughs> landscaping fabric that's what it's called I always forget the name of that stuff I'm going to be showing you from laying down my landscaping paper to um, like putting my little picket fences back up and actually staging where I'm going to be planting certain things. This year we're going to be having a small um, like raised bed in the garden. I'm super excited about that. Um, Hubby's going to make me a raised, a raised bed and he'll probably be doing some other DIY projects in the garden to kind of help me out and just tools that I need for out there. So y'all it's gonna be a great journey this year i'm super super excited so if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay and ring the doorbell the like button on your way in here um yeah so you can be a part of my gardening gang y'all like i'm just super super excited to start this year because last year i just didn't know what to expect you know what i'm saying i was just like okay let me just buy a couple of seeds and we'll put them in the dirt and then we'll see what happens well lo and behold i had such a lush garden last year everything well not everything i mean i did have some fails but you know it's trial and error you never when you're a beginner there's always going to be some trial and error so this year i'm hoping to um you know have success with the things that i failed with last year i think i was kind of out of season with some things and so being that it's the beginning of the year and like the beginning of planting season i'm hoping that i will have success with the things that i failed with last year okay so we're definitely going to start off this video with a mini haul <laughs> i did go out today and purchase some seeds from home depot y'all i have a lot of um like products and and just seeds and soil and all that good stuff y'all i have a lot of stuff already so i should not have to like really be buying too much because i'll just kind of reuse what i have although we will be taking some trips to home depot and probably lowe's and walmart and all that stuff and even dollar tree to get some more um supplies you know for the garden as the seasons go on so really quick let's get into this seed haul um yeah okay you guys so i really like what well, i didn't really really wasn't sure what i was going to be getting although i do know i did know that i wanted to get some veggies okay and i have them kind of separated out like this because they are in their like the month 
they're, they're staged in the months that I need them to get stored back in. Like, this is my whole container of, like, seeds. Like, this is my supplies from last year. So, um, I stopped by Dollar Tree and I got these little plant labels. Y'all, these are so, so good, okay? You definitely want to be labeling your seeds and your, you know, your veggies and everything so you know what is growing and when you started growing it. These come 10 in a pack at the Dollar Tree, so I bought two of them. Now, while I do have some left over from last year, I just kind of wanted to make sure I had enough, so I wanted to stock up on them. Um, and then they're also, this particular brand from the Dollar Tree is reusable. If you get your some um, like 70% or 90% um, isopropyl alcohol and if you use a sharpie I would recommend using a sharpie when you label because you know as you know the Sun beats down and it rains and everything the sharpies that still tends to keep um, you know you can still read the the, the whatever you labeled, you can still read it. Whereas if you use like wooden sticks or something like that, those are biodegradable. And sometimes, you know, the weather can kind of wear away the words. So I like to use these um, because I can reuse them the next year. And um, I mean, they're only a dollar. I mean, you could throw them away if you really wanted to throw them away, but I just kind of like wash them off, clean them up and wipe them down with the isopropyl alcohol. And then they're ready to be used the next year. So you'll see, you know, some from last year as we start planting. I have plenty of those. Okay, so I bought a lot of flowers this time around um, because we kind of went through our flower seeds last year. We got, we had a garden, we have two garden beds right outside the backyard door. And y'all, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, I was really ambitious last year. And so I wound up buying a lot of flowers, but quite a few of them were like giant size. And so while they still grew nicely and everything, like we, it was hard to contain them. So hubby <laughs> was saying this year, make sure you buy flowers, but make sure you get like dwarf size so that they're not up to the kitchen window. Okay. Like they were literally up to the kitchen window and passed so we don't want to do that again this year and hopefully they won't regrow up to the window this year I'm hoping they kind of died off but we'll see so I did go ahead and get these flowers we'll start off with this one um, these are the four o'clocks and I got these all from Home Depot okay um, I got these are the four o'clocks and then here are some nasturgeon I think I got two packs of those the alyssum, I think that's how you say it. Y'all, I love this flower. This is so pretty when it when it's planted on the ground. It looks so, so pretty. So I had to make sure I got some more of these. We've got the sunflowers, y'all. I grew some giant sized sunflowers last year. They were like seven feet tall. <laughs> um, so this year I made sure I got the, um, the shorter ones. So we got that, and that's like a mixture of them. Like they'll have all kinds of pretty colors. So I'm excited to see how those come out. We've got some dwarf dahlias. This is a really pretty flower. We've got the morning glories. Now I was kicking myself last year because I saw these, and I was just like, well, eh, I'm not gonna get them. But these are so pretty. And then as my other flowers were blooming, I was like, I need some blue in here. I need like a blue flower. So I made sure that I got this Morning Glory Heavenly Blue this time. Here are some shorter zinnias. Like I said, last year I had the giant zinnias. So these are the smaller ones. And the zinnias are so pretty, y'all. Like the, when you see like the little, the yellow part inside, it's like a flower within a flower. They're so beautiful. Okay, here's that other nasturgeon. I didn't have success with these last year, so hopefully, I'm, I'm, ha I'm hoping to have success this year. We've got a moonflower, evening glory white, which kind of looks like the, the morning glory one a little bit, but just white. And then we have the dwarf sunflower, the regular yellow sunflower. So made sure that I read this time. Reading is fundamental, as I always say on my other channel. <laughs> Reading is fundamental. So I made sure that I got the, you know, the shorter flowers this year. Okay. And then for my veggies, I think I ran out of all of my bell pepper um, seeds that were store store bought now I did keep some seeds from some of the um, 
bell peppers that I, um, you know, the, like I really bought from the store. Like I bought a bell pepper and then I saved the seeds. So I still have some of those. But as far as seeds that come in a pack, um, I think I'm pretty much out of those. So I did buy these. These are the Grand Bell Pepper, the mixed colors. And then we have the California, California, California <laughs> Wonder Sweet Peppers. Now I was looking for the Carnival Blend, which comes with like the purple and um, the other colors, but I couldn't find it. I went to two stores. I went to um, Home Depot and I went to Walmart and I just couldn't find them. And even in Dollar Tree, they didn't have them. So that's that. Here are some more flowers. We got the daisies. I think those are super cute. And then we have some pansies, which are all different colors. So the garden is going to look really, the flower beds are going to look really beautiful. And then of course, I will sprinkle some flowers here and there within the garden as well. And then this is something new that will definitely be getting planted very, very soon, in, actually in February, and that's this kale. Well, all of these will be planted in February, but the kale is a leafy green that I've never, ever had before, like never tried kale ever in my life. So I understand that it's a really healthy green, and so I definitely want to go ahead and try it. Um, I didn't have too much success with um, lettuce last year, so I'm hoping that will do a little bit better this year. But I did have success with collard greens, and I planted like two different varieties of collard greens. So my big leafy greens were very successful, so I feel pretty confident that I can uh, plant and grow kale. So. So that's about it. That is it for my little haul, okay, of seeds. I wanna take y'all outside so that y'all can see my collard greens actually because they need to be cut and cooked. They've been out there for quite a while. I think ever since I shut down the garden, um, pretty much, you know, they have been out there just thriving, y'all. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm not going back out there. It is too cold to be digging in the dirt and all that stuff. And I was just like, eh, I'm not going out there. but hubby was like you know those collard greens are grown back and y'all when i tell y'all i had like an abundance of collard greens oh my gosh i mean by the time it was i was ready to cut them because i wanted to have them for like thanksgiving and also for christmas um i really didn't realize how much i had so i wound up buying like three bags of collard greens from the store but then after i clipped down all of the collard greens from the garden I had like way too many collards <laughs> so it was crazy I think I still have some collard greens in the freezer that are cooked and ready to be eaten so I'm definitely gonna take these down because I don't want them to die I mean I plant the food you know I plant this stuff for us to consume so we don't want stuff to die um and actually last year I had an abundance of different vegetables that I some of them had to get tossed because we just had too many. I had given out quite a bit of uh, vegetables and stuff like that. And I just, it was still, it was like an overabundance. So this year I'm going to kind of rein in, um, you know, how many things I'm going to be planting, um, like how many buckets I plan to have of each veg vegetable and things like that so I don't overplant. I had like a million tomatoes. It was crazy. I had to wind up freezing them and so I'll probably wind up making like a spaghetti sauce or something like that so I can't wait to do that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, they're in the freezer. But um, yeah, I want to take y'all out there so y'all can see what it's looking at like right now. Um, I didn't touch anything um, at the end of the season. I just kind of left everything how it was. Some stuff was kind of like on its way out dying. And so I was just like, I'm just going to leave it. I don't, I don't even, it was getting cold. I don't want to be out there. I didn't want to be out there. I was like, I'm just going to leave it until it starts getting a little warmer and, you know, I can function out there because I am not a cold weather person. And go figure because I'm from New York, but from New York City at that. And, like, I just can't, I don't like the cold, y'all. <laughs> That's why I moved, one of the reasons why I moved to Georgia. But, um, yeah, let's go on out to the garden and let's go take a look at these collard greens, clip them off, and I'll show y'all the rest of the, what is now dirt <laughs> out there so y'all can see how my garden is and like where I'm planning to build the next garden. So come on, let's go outside. 
Okay y'all, so this is what my garden looks like from a little bit of a distance. I'm right at my back door. Um, yeah, and so this is the side of the garden. Never mind that background there. Y'all, just last year, this was all forest. All of that was forest and they tore it down and they're building a subdivision now over here so they're on like phase three which is now starting to put in like the sewer and all of that like the waterway or whatever sewer stuff and it goes all the way over there but as you can see this is my whole this is my yard my yard is pretty big I think it's actually the biggest yard in my subdivision. But anyway, um, I'm going to be moving my garden from this side of the yard to that side of the yard. And the reason I'm moving it, well, one of the reasons is, is that my neighbor has three dogs, y'all. Three little mini dogs, chihuahua dogs, whatever you want to call them. And they do not give me any peace so while i'm in my garden um they are like scratching on the you know on the fence and i just you know i'm supposed to be in my garden peaceful and enjoying you know some quiet time and stuff like that getting my thoughts together and whatnot and i just don't have any peace when they are out here and i'm out in my garden so you know and i'm not antagonizing them or anything i'll be minding i'll be over here minding my business and they'll just come over there and just start barking and just scratching on the fence and i'm just like i'm over it so yeah i'm gonna be moving to that side and um my neighbors on this side don't have any animals or anything like that so and i think on the other side of the fence um the property line is a little bit back and so my neighbors whoever they will be on that side um you know their their animals if they have any will not be directly behind my fence so that should give me a little bit more peace and and you know sanity <laughs> over there but i still get pretty much the same amount of sun and i think i'll actually get a little bit more sun because of the way the house is set so um let me just show y'all real quick i'm gonna turn around so as you can see like this is the like that's another that's an entrance to the backyard but then the house is right here so as the sun comes up you know it's the the garden is kind of blocked a little bit because of the house until it actually comes up you know over the house whereas over here you know the sun will be rising and then as soon as it gets over the fence it will be shining on the garden so that's a good thing you know and then if I just need to add shade then I will definitely go ahead and add some type of shade but I'd rather have to add shade than rather have shade all the time you know like something that I can't move so anyway let's go down to the garden and take a look at what's going on down here as you can see it looks abandoned <laughs> because it really is it's been abandoned so we've got like water overflowing and things i did not even know that that was full of water i'll have to dump that out um yeah i started off with mulch and i thought it was going to be a good idea but turns out i don't really like the whole mulch situation so i'm going to be getting rid of the mulch i'm not going to move it over to the other side we're just going to probably rake it all up and get rid of it um this was my this was my pepper bed so this one right here was like jalapenos and it's supposed to have been like hot peppers but the only ones that made it were the jalapenos this was like um the bell pepper bed that did pretty well last year um these were tomatoes anything you see here with the cages were tomatoes so i had like let me see over here i had one it's one cage two three four five six seven tomato plants y'all that was excessive <laughs> and i had a ton of tomatoes so yeah the tomatoes all did pretty well so like i said it was just a lot um let's go back over here this right here i had two of those and those were my sunflowers i could only fit one in a pot because like i said they were humongous they were really really big y'all this one here is, was my okra plant i had another one. Oh, i can show you this is the other okra it's over i want to say it's over eight feet tall 
this okra <laughs> plants so I'm not sure if that is gonna come back or not I'm gonna have to do some research on the okra I know some of these things were just um, like one season plants so I'm not sure what's gonna happen there um, and then gosh I don't even remember what that was I don't remember what that blue one was this little one here I was trying to do berries in it but I think I'm gonna do like berries in a bigger type of pot situation so it can bush out that over there was flowers they did very well they were very pretty I had a couple of varieties in there I had petunias and then like some kind of red amaranth plant in uh, flower in there and that was really pretty and I did the same thing here I had marigolds and I had that red pretty flower that's the okra this is this is lemon balm I think and that's still actually thriving y'all still doing really well this is a lemon tree don't think that that one is gonna do anything anymore so probably gonna nix that one this is an apple tree y'all and it's just dormant right now so I'm going to continue to work on that as the season comes back in. I'm probably going to plant another one because I think you have to grow apple trees in pairs. But I didn't find that out until it was already, you know, pretty much growing. So yeah, that's that. These two are lemon trees as well. As you can see, this one did not really make it. <laughs> but this one looks like it's hanging on. I mean, it's still green. So maybe that's just dormant. I don't know. Um that is i want to say that is some more like lemon lemon balm back there that was like an old cucumber um, pot these were some more flowers but you see what i was saying about the the lettering like here so it's kind of faded now because they've just been out here but you see 516 you can still see like the lemon is written on this one I don't know if you can see that it says lemon and then on that one too so while the sharpie does fade a little bit it still really kind of holds on now this is we're going on a year so I don't expect it to really you know stay so I will be rewriting them but um, yeah I think I think those those little label things work really good this is an onion I wonder if that onion is viable that's been in there a long time and look it's pretty green it's pretty green i think i'm gonna try to pull that and see what happens um i think this was more lemon balm because yeah i believe that's lemon balm as well and so is this and as you can see it's it's still thriving i mean i just need to kind of weed it out pick off the dead parts and let it do its thing because it's still going it's still green this was another cucumber. Oh yeah, y'all. Cucumbers was like another thing that I had massive amounts of. You see this makeshift trellis that I made here? This whole thing was filled with cucumbers. It was so green and lush. Like I had never in a million years thought I could grow anything like that, but I did. And I had so many cucumbers that I wound up making pickles and my family loved them. So I'm going to be growing some more pickling cucumbers and I'm going to make them some more pickles this year. Um, but I don't want to make as many as I did last year. I think I had about eight buckets of cucumbers last year. So yeah, there's that. And then this was like my corn section. My second round of corn did not do well at all. My first round did really good, um, but yeah, the second round, as you can see, it didn't really make it that far. Um, this little blue thing here were marigolds, and those just like kept dying and coming back and dying and coming back. I was super amazed with how well they did. Um, these are just some empty buckets here because I think I was planning on making something out, putting something else out, but never got a chance to do it this area was like my melon patch so i had like watermelons um and i had cantaloupe um now the cantaloupe didn't really didn't make it um kind of planted that late I, I believe i got the seeds late and so the cantaloupe never made it but we had um a few varieties of watermelon all of them did not make it but we had quite a we had quite a few but they were so small so i don't know what happened there 
Um, but this year I plan on putting the watermelon or planting the watermelon in raised bed so that um, they can thrive a little bit better. So I thought like this kind of a container would be much better for it. But I also think that um, I planted too many in the one bed here, you know, because this is technically like a raised bed. But I had too many going on in there and so the roots were like fighting, I believe. So I don't, you know, I think they need a little bit more space. So I won't plant as many watermelons this year or I'll just make sure that I space them out correctly or, you know, they'll just be in their um, own individual buckets because, um, yeah, they just didn't grow as big as I thought they would. They were like individual size. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's take a walk over to the back to go check out the collars and then the rest of the stuff over there. Okay, here we are at the collars. And y'all, can y'all see how, I mean, they are so strong. So strong. Let's just a good walk out since we had rain recently. Let me see if I can pull y'all back a little bit. So, I mean, they've been out here for quite a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them off. I mean, this won't be as big a batch as it was before. But this has been out here for quite a while. And I don't want them to die. So, like, this is a different brand. Um, I want to say these are Georgia collards. And then the other ones are called Vates. Now, the Vates are the ones that you typically see in stores. Y'all are familiar, I'm sure, with these this leaf right here but they did grow to be much bigger leaves um you know the first time around so this is kind of like these are little smaller leaves but again i was not out here doing anything to these collars i mean this just grew like this on its own so whatever fertilizer you know that i had in there is what they were feeding off of because i never came back out here, out here to feed them or water them so this is what it is Y'all, this is this was supposed to be broccoli. Um, you can kind of see some of them there, but most of it has bolted and died. So, um, although, look, y'all, I think it's tr still trying to grow. This still looks really viable to me, and it looks like back there they're trying to grow. Do y'all see that? Like, let me go back there. Look. Look. Do y'all see? Like, in the, in the, what do you call it? Look at that. How they're growing, like, in there. So they're trying to do something. Maybe I just need to cut that off and redirect the, so it can redirect the energy back down into the plant. So I may just do that. And then I'll give it some food and see what happens. I mean, it's, it's cold today, but it's not as cold as it's been. So, okay, and this over here, I had some sweet basil and some peppermint. Oh, I think one of those plants over there was peppermint as well. Um, I just couldn't read the, the labels, but yeah, I think one of them were peppermint. And then this was like my bean little my pole beans, and they didn't do very well. I mean, I had some snow peas, and I was able to snap a couple of them off, but it wasn't enough for me to do anything with. Like, I couldn't cook with them because I only got like maybe two or three pods so I kind of just let this go now I did get some green beans and I did wind up freezing those so I would say that there would be enough for like one meal and I really need to go ahead and make them so I'll probably do that soon and I'll maybe do like a cooking vlog or something like that with food from the garden or maybe on the family channel you might see that um, so yeah if you're not subscribed to my family channel if you're not subscribed to the family vlog channel make sure you go over and subscribe there because we've restarted that channel as um i want to say as well but i've restarted that channel 
we have not been on there for I want to say a good five to six years <laughs> you'll see my boys on there my boys were super little okay they are now looking like grown men <laughs> which they pretty much are um, Jay is now 20 going on 21 this year and Kalel is 16 going on 17 he's gonna be a senior in high school y'all when y'all see the old vlogs compared to now you're gonna be like man that was a long time ago so yeah um, definitely subscribe to that channel because we'll be doing a lot of cooking over there especially with um, you know the veggies and the fruits and stuff from the garden so definitely go ahead over there and subscribe okay so back to the garden we did have some eggplant I planted two eggplants okay this had two in there and this had one I feel like the one with the two that were planted in in it did a lot better than the one on its own which is strange to me because obviously one has more room to grow than two in a pot so I don't know what was up with that but I have a lot more pots and I'm getting some grow bags this year so um, we'll see what happens with the eggplant this year but eggplant I want to say is more of like a after the summer grower like into the fall months so that'll be a while before I plant that again and then at the last minute I attempted some squash as well so I want to say like one two three I think it was those three it may have been four were actually oh no this one is four um, or squash plants and they didn't do very well because it started to get cold out here and I just was not trying to be out here <laughs> so they pretty much um, died and like overgrew like I was not trimming them at all like this one here you can tell it looks crazy because I didn't trim him at all and yeah he just kind of fell by the wayside and then we have the greenhouse okay now there is some stuff in here in the greenhouse but this stuff died too I just kind of let it go so um, let's take a look So it's a hot mess in here, y'all. A hot mess. Look at this. Water overflowing, everything. That one lovely cilantro growing out of that. I'm going to have to get that out of there. Um, but yeah, this stuff just, yeah, just didn't make it. So I'm definitely going to empty out this water before I leave out of here today. And um, clean that up. Well, not really clean up, but I'm going to definitely empty out the water and let them sit on the side. Now, I don't know. This cilantro, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I should do about this whole cilantro deal. I may, I may try to clean it up, but then again, I may not. So, we'll see what happens. But also, I'm noticing that my greenhouse is kind of disintegrating out here. Um, let me move back a little bit. So I got this greenhouse last year and I want to say we paid about 60 bucks for it, something like that, on Amazon. So I'm not sure if I really need to buy another one or what. If y'all are gardeners and you are um, seasoned gardeners, let me know. And I think I will because look at this, it's all, the plastic is all disintegrated and it's holes. And so the purpose of the greenhouse is obviously to kind of keep the heat and the moisture in and with it being all holy like this I don't see how that's possible so let me give y'all a better angle over here can you see it's just and that's how the water got in there because it disintegrated and um, the water just rained on in there so we may have to buy a new greenhouse this year or I wonder if I can get like this cover I'm not sure. I'm going to have to investigate that. But if anybody knows, please let me know what I need to do. So, yeah, guys. This is it. All right. These were just like some stakes that I had. The bamboo sticks. These come in really, really handy. These bamboo stakes. Um, I got those at Walmart. And I want to say I paid like maybe four bucks, three to four bucks for a package of like ten of them or something see how they come yeah so you can find those at Walmart 
and um, they're good for like like as you can see here I stuck them in this bed so that the leaves and like um, things that grow with tendrils can kind of wrap on to the poles there I also use them for here on my trellis because I didn't have um, more of the green stakes so I had to put this um, you know put the bamboo in there to make the trellis work for me so yeah so this is my garden y'all this is my garden and I really need to go check on Veronica I think she has died y'all Veronica uh, is our aloe vera plant and we had a major struggle with her last year she was an indoor aloe plant and we fought with oh my gosh we fought with um, those indoor gnats and stuff and um, it just was not fun and it wasn't pretty either and so Veronica like almost died but then I brought her back and yeah oh my gosh it's a hot mess back here <laughs> so let me show y'all her because um, I'm over here where she is now and there's just ice and water back here oh no Veronica this is Veronica Veronica is looking sorry she's looking very sorry I'm gonna have to do some research and see like is she gonna come back I don't know she's very very soft she's not supposed to be this soft she's supposed to be firm so um, and I thought that I would be using her a lot more than what well we didn't use her at all last year we were just trying to fight for her life basically to keep her alive and so um, you know while she did obviously she survived she's like really light down here so I think she might make it throughout this um, cold season and then this is the baby the baby was taken off of Veronica um, he was like growing like out of the side off to the side it was like a shoot that grew off the side and so we decided to repot the baby and he does look a little bit bigger than he was when we originally planted but not that much okay sorry y'all my phone I think has just been overheating so I'm not sure how much of that y'all got but like I said this was the flower bed on one side and then that's the other flower bed on that side and the, the flowers were growing up to like had the halfway mark on the um, the window there so yeah that's why I had to make sure that I got <laughs> dwarf size this year so we can keep those flowers at bay because they were just like we had to wind up trying to tie them up they were like falling over and after a while it was looking a hot mess I mean the flowers themselves were pretty but they were just they weren't secure they weren't um, I had nothing to stabilize them so they were all flopping over so yeah that's that but look I'm gonna go ahead now and go cut these collard greens off um, I'll show y'all the harvest when I get in because um, I think my camera's gonna cut off again. It's just overheating um, So yeah, I'll show y'all the harvest afterwards and I'll probably show y'all like what I've done out here as well So y'all can see um, Just like a mini little cleanup. Okay going forward Hopefully I will be able to record all of this so you can actually see me working in the garden But this time like I said my phone is kind of overheating so I'm gonna have to come back let it like let it cool off and I'll come back all right I gotta make this quick um, so as you can see I cut everything down I gave everybody some water I did not have as much fertilizer as I thought I did so I had to do what I could do um, over there and then we emptied out all of the water out of these bins here threw them away one got thrown out because it was busting and yeah that's pretty much it I'm sure y'all can hear the dogs barking they've been they've come back out really quick I want to let y'all know what's in these containers okay you guys so I am losing the light I had to run and go pick up my son from work took a little longer than expected and I also had to delete some footage off my phone so not only was it overheating but <clears throat> I had run out of space so like I was saying this bin right here this big bin is filled with soil that I was amending um, 
at the end of the season but never finished. Um, I, you know, that's how I was starting the squash and the other corn. But like I said, those didn't make it. The other two black containers back there, one is a, um, how do you say? Oh, one is a compost bin that I'm doing home homemade compost. And the other one is, um, oh my gosh, I just drew a blank right now. It's compost, but it's um, like black cow and mushroom um, compost. Is that the word? I don't think that's the word either. Well, that's what it is. I'll put it on the screen <laughs> so you guys can know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so with all that said, I'm going to go back in the house now. That's pretty much it. Let me show you all the harvest. Um, yeah, this is just the overview of the garden as it is right now and I got my bag ready to take in the garage or maybe I'll come back out here and start the seedlings well the seeds nah I think I'll do that inside because it's cold I don't want to have my seeds outside okay and so this is the harvest from the collard greens y'all look at that it's the basket is all the way filled up that's a lot of greens. Now, when I had that initial harvest of collard, collard greens, this basket was overflowing. Like, you see how tall these um, hoops are, the handles are? Like, I was stuffing them <laughs> into the basket. That's how many um, leaves there were. There were a lot, a lot of leaves. So, yeah. But okay, you guys, I am going to now go ahead and get me something to eat. I am starving. We just got back in the house. Like I said, I have a salad here waiting for me. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And I still have to kind of cook dinner. It's like 6.30 right now. So we'll be eating a little late, but we're having tacos. So it shouldn't take too long. And that's not going to be too heavy. <clears throat> they are turkey tacos. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this first blog on my gardening channel y'all don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in learning how to start a container garden in your backyard and um, growing vegetables and fruit from seed okay because that's how I learned I'm starting from seed like I don't buy um, I don't buy any plants or anything from the store I started from seed so you'll learn like how I mix my soil what I what I put in my soil how much soil that I use and things like that so that's all the stuff I'm going to be sharing on here and probably some more but yeah if you're interested in stuff like that definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit give me a like on your way out if you enjoyed this video and you are looking forward to gardening with me over here like I said any tips and tricks and questions and advice is always always accepted over here we don't um like i said i don't claim to know everything i don't claim to be an expert or anything like that i'm just sharing with you all what i've learned and hopefully what i will continue to learn so thank you guys so so much for watching i will see you in my next gardening video until then y'all take care bye